uh, before we we go to NFTs, yeah, I want to explore some fundamental aspects of visual art, similar to what you just touched on. I think that idea of how you're connecting students with design thinking to the to the to the viewer, to the audience, uh, to the customer in a business sense. I think all of those things are very important to the the lines of um, you know reasoning that you uh, you know take on NFTs. Uh, so I think that this will tie in the sense of sight as well, uh, which you know our, it's what this podcast it's our central area of exploration. I also think this will help the listener better appreciate uh, your advocacy for NFTs. So these next four are super basic questions, uh, but again, I think they're essential for you know, especially non-artists to understand before exploring the future of NFTs. First, a super simple question, uh, what is visual art, uh, especially in the context of the sense of sight? Okay, so you asked what is visual art, not digital art. Yes. Okay. Yes. Visual art. Okay. So before I answer that question, I do want to answer that question, but I do want to tell you the classes that I teach because I think that, I'm sorry. No, no, that's because I think it will um, lead into that, which is, so, so I was teaching in the, you know, mostly in, in film and media and, you know, starting to recognize that, that students were working really hard on this, you know, this digital content that was, um, you know, meant to have an audience, but it wasn't really taking the audience into consideration. So it was a lot of self-expression, but not a lot of conversation of the artist to the viewer or the, you know, audience. So, so I started teaching business to um, media students and, and subsequently I got um, hired. So now I'm jointly appointed to the business school because I started te teaching creativity to business students. So, so it's interesting that's so that sort of interplay. But what is visual art? So um, I largely teach in the moving image space, which would be more in any kind of film, television, or just m moving image that might just be purely artistic that might not have a, a linear story to it. So there's probably so much more to visual art than that, because obviously there's painting and there's all different mediums. I am I play in the, the moving um, image, which really requires some form of digitization, unless you use like a paper, you know, um, you know, one of those, I, I can't remember what they're called, but they're, you know, you spin the, you flip the paper, a flip book or something like that. So yeah, I mean, visual art can do some combination of strange uh, pairings or strange connections that help you make a bigger aha to what existence is about or something like that. You know, so so in that regard, I, I do love the, you know, the, the, the strange, but with, because it's sort of leading you into a new concept or a new way of thinking. And that's the, these new ways of thinking, you know, with um, visual art, um, you know, or art in general is what's so compelling about it. That's why I love art. Yeah. And I've, I've also, I've read that art uh, and, and literature, a lot of times there were, there were a reflection of ideas the cutting edge ideas of the time or the ideas that are shaping the times, uh, they seem to be a reflection of a lot of our aspirations in, in, in society, a lot of our controversies in society. Uh, so th there's more on the intellectual side, but in the end, it's still the visual uh, you know, how it resonates with us visually that really uh, sticks with us. And, you know, that's, I, I wanted to make that point today, uh, again, because the podcast is about sight. So we try to explore, you know, the the sense of sight and, and, and how these different topics impact, you know, that. So the next question that I had is actually along this, this line of thinking, you know, what makes visual art impactful. So I, I think I kind of 
uh, shed some light on that. But uh, do you have any ideas about that? The thing is, is it takes it. It can happen in a second. You know, you can be impacted within such a small amount of time if we're talking about non-moving or even moving, you know, because um, there's new art forms that are sort of bubbling up. You know, we can get into that a little bit more, you know, with digital art. But, you know, just a quick second and you can have your perspective on life changed just from that that very brief moment. Yeah. So... 